Hi, I'm Adrian Ho. I'm the founder and admin of the Facebook group Safe Hong Kong. We support our government system to bring stability to Hong Kong. We support one country, two system. At one point, we had almost 200,000 members. And so I wonder if uh, it is correct that you are the son of former chief executive of Macau, Ho Hawa. No. That's not true. Off the record. I have to... Um, you have to ask? Yeah, I have to ask. You have to ask? Uh, no, no. But he is my uncle. And your father is? My father is the brother of Mr. Edmund Ho. You do have a lot of cousins who are in the you know, Chinese People's Political Consultative Conferences. I do. I do. Yeah. I have a few. I want to keep this information outside of the group. So when people talk about Safe Hong Kong, people talk about what we do and not uh, who's behind Safe Hong Kong. Uh, when we established the group in August of 2019, it was at the peak of the riots. And anybody who try to express a different opinion than those mm -hmm. on the internet would get attacked. Uh, our idea was to create a safe haven for rational, light-minded people to express freely. We strive to fight against fake news, uh, incorrect information, as well as skewed and biased political narrative in Hong Kong to make sure that uh, uh, of the righteous voice, the correct voice is heard out there. They feel very frustrated until the national security law, they started to be able to take a couple deep breaths and rejoice over eliminating a lot of those um, biased anti-establishment politicians to make sure that such political chaos would not happen again. If someone has violated community standards, um, whether it's hate speech or discrimination, um, I can accept that. But regulated goods that we were censored based on that reason, which shows you that I truly think it was not legitimate. I had always believed that pro-establishment camp voices were the majority uh, this whole time. 60 pro, 40 anti-establishment. Um, it's always been that.